On today's episode of Amanda and Felix Eats, we're featuring a full day of eating some of the greatest Filipino foods here on Oahu. This is my segment right here. We're off to a great adventure, guys. Oh. And we're super excited to be sharing with you guys some of our personal Filipino favorites here on the island. What's going on Foodie Ohana and welcome back to the channel. On today's Foodie Adventure, we're featuring a full day of eating some of the greatest Filipino food here on Oahu. We are hungry, our stomachs are ready and primed for some onolicious Filipino food. So let's get going to our first spot. There is no better way to start off a Filipino food marathon, of course, without going to a Filipino bakery. So we went to a place called Nan Dings. They're very popular for their baked goods, but especially this baby right here. This is the beloved Spanish roll. It's very unassuming, very simple, yet addicting and delicious. What it is, is basically just a simple butter roll filled with butter and sugar. This thing, trust me guys, must try here at Nanding's. And it's super cheap too, so why not? Going in for the first bite of this Filipino food marathon. Mmm. Oh man. Mmm. So simple, you taste the butter, hint of sweetness from the sugar. It's nice and pillowy. The inside is fluffy and chewy. I love the little added texture and crunch of the breadcrumbs that it's rolled in. It's so delicate. It's still nice and warm. Oh man, just this and a nice cup of coffee. Ooh. And another crowd favorite here at Nanding's Bakery is the beloved... Oh, no, no, no. It's my turn heck? now. Where did you come from? Hey, guys. Welcome me back to the channel. Oh, what's this? Oh, look at that. Guys, look at this. This is a ube panda sole. Oh, my God. Look at that purple color. The texture, it's soft. Yeah, I came in at the right time because this looks like it's calling my name. Let's see what the filling is. Oh, look at that cream inside. They didn't cheap out on putting as much filling as they can to make this worth. Oh, that purple color is so gorgeous. I don't know if you can capture this on camera. Like, it looks too pretty to eat. <laughs> okay, foodie expert, let me eat it then. So happy I get to have it all to myself. No, you don't. Give me a piece. Oh, oh. Okay, well, sharing is caring, guys. All right, since you bulldozed your way onto the show, cheers. Woo! Mm. <laughs> oh, oh my god, that cheese. Oh, okay. So what do you get when you have cream and cheese? Oh, cream cheese. That makes sense. This is definitely really good. Sweet bread with the cheese filling. The cheese filling is like not super savory, right? It's just like that right hint of sweetness. I like that the ube flavor is very subtle. Mm -hmm, it's not mm -hmm. a punch your face ube, but this is very delicious. So when it comes to Filipino bakeries, if you guys know from previous episodes, you guys will know that I am a huge fan of Pia Nomo bread. Here they call it Pia Nono. I'm not sure if there's a difference, but Jesse's calls it Pia Nomo. This is the butter version. They also had a strawberry version, a blueberry version, a mango version. This is just the OG butter version. I'm so excited for this. This is my all time favorite Filipino dessert or baked good. Oh my goodness, it is so nice and fluffy. It's like a sponge cake. I can see the butter in the middle. I'm so excited. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> so good, I could cry. Mm. Mm. Very light, very, very fluffy. It's not as sweet as the one from Jesse's because Jesse's one has sugar all around it, coating it. But I do like that this one, you can obviously see that really nice middle or center of butter. It really permeates throughout the whole butter roll. Like a sponge cake, it's so pillowy soft. Definitely get this. If you haven't tried it, try it, trust me. So that was an awesome start to our all-day Filipino food adventure, but we have a ton more places and we're only like an hour into our day. So let's head on to the next spot. Continuing our Filipino foodie adventure, our next stop takes us all the way to Kapolei Marketplace at Julie's Restaurant. Here, we're gonna enjoy some Filipino homestyle cooking. We have the pancake here. Our kind server did say this was money back guarantee. She said if we didn't like it, she'll give us our money back. She also said that this is one of the best pancakes 
on this island. So super excited to try it out. We only got one pancake because this is a Filipino food video. We're trying to stay in the Filipino realm. But when she said the pancakes were the best on the island, I had to get it. Oh goodness, you guys, look at that. Butter all over. Oh my goodness, just look how it just melts with the maple syrup. Oh, it's so fluffy. This is a big bite. Cheers. Okay, she was not wrong. This is delicious. Mmm. Mm. Thank you. Sausage crumble. Oh, thank you. And I have this veteran breakfast. Mm. Thank you so much. It's ready, okay? All thank, right, you. thank you. So here at Julie's, you could either do takeout. They have a separate line just for takeout, or you can dine in. The dining room is actually a little bit on the smaller side, so you have to sign in when you get here. And there's sometimes a little wait, which is, it goes by really quick. They're super fast with it here. A Filipino foodie adventure would not be complete without proper Filipino breakfast. This is probably something I would get for a Filipino breakfast. This is what they call a sea log, or fried rice with fried egg. And our choice of protein for today is the lechon. It actually looks like a lechon kawali with the diced tomatoes, the onions, we also got a breakfast platter combo and this beauty right here is the beloved longanisa or Filipino sausage one of our favorites we also got the combo platter so it came with Vienna sausage and Portuguese sausage and of course a pro tip whenever there's an upgrade option for Johanna please do so it's there for a reason we upgraded our normal white rice or toast to adobo fried rice. I'm gonna try the lechon first because I love my lechon. Fried pork belly. This is sauteed in onions and tomatoes. Look at these little crispy morsels of heaven. It also comes with a condiment side of vinegar. But I'm gonna try it without anything first. Mm. Ooh, I hear that crunch. Oh man. We're off to a great adventure, guys. Oh, I love the saltiness that the crispy pork brings, the fattiness, the glistening beauty of pork belly. Gets nicely balanced out with the acidity of the tomatoes and the onions all tossed in there together, making it a perfectly balanced bite. Let's try it with some of the vinegar now. Mm. Oh man, do yourselves a favor, get this with a chan breakfast sea log or breakfast special. Oh my gosh, I haven't even gotten to the fried rice yet. Comes with two eggs of your choice, we got over easy, because we love our runny egg yolk, adobo fried rice, as you can see here. Generous portions of adobo, pork adobo, in the fried rice itself. I'm used to eating these traditionally with just the synagogue or the garlic fried rice, but hey, I'm not mad at adobo fried rice. Drop a comment down below for you Filipino subscribers. Is adobo fried rice only a Hawaii thing or do they have that in the Philippines? I'm so excited to get into this. Assembling the perfect bite right here. Oh, the adobo is so tender. Mm. If you guys don't know, adobo is simmered pork in vinegar and soy sauce. It's so delicious, very tender, very meaty. The fried rice is simply seasoned, complements it perfectly with the egg. Mm. Oh man, this is my breakfast platter right here. There's even some crispy bits of pieces of burnt rice or crispy rice. Oh man, this plate has it all. Some porkiness, some acidity from the vinegar, crispiness, meatiness. There's even like bay leaves in the adobo fried rice to show its authenticity. It's a Saturday morning, so we decided to go for breakfast items today. This is the sausage breakfast combo. We got the adobo fried rice, two over easy eggs, sweet Filipino longanisa sausage. We got some Portuguese sausage and fried Vienna sausage. This is gonna bring back a ton of memories for me. I already know it. Felix just made the fried rice sound so good. Oh my goodness. Oh goodness, look at that fried rice. Look at that pork adobo in there. Ooh. This is my dream bite right here. Cheers. Mmm, that's like heaven. Heaven on a plate. Has a nice vinegariness as well. Now I'm gonna go in for the longanisa. This is actually a pretty big longanisa. It's very meaty as you can see. It's so big that they actually had to cut it in half like that. Ooh, and I love that it's a little 
charred on the edges. Longanisa is one of our favorite breakfast meats as well. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Sweet longanisa sausage. Oh, and then finish it off with some adobo fried rice. Mm. Mm. I feel like Portuguese sausage is kind of similar to Filipino longanisa. Maybe a little bit different, but it's a staple here in Hawaii. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's actually two types of longanisa. There's the sweet longanisa, and then there's a vinegar longanisa, I do believe. Let us know which one is your go-to. Which one do you guys usually order? And of course, we're going in with the Vienna sausage. Oh my goodness, look how nice and charred it is on the outside. This isn't really anything fancy Vienna sausage. It's just nostalgic. Mmm, just takes me back. Growing up, we would fry it with some soy sauce. Oh. I used to just eat Vienna sausage, rice, and egg on it. Just like this, but plain rice. If you're looking for that comfort and Filipino food and breakfast items and pancakes, Julie's the place to come. If you're in Kapole or Koolina side, definitely check them out. Let's wrap it up here, you guys, because we have more food to show you guys today. Let's get going. Next stop, you guys, is a very, very famous Filipino spot. It's called Elena's. We are here at Elena's. They're actually originated in 1974 here in Hawaii. They are a locally owned and operated business, so we're super excited to be checking them out today. They are very, very known. They're actually on Guy Fieri's Triple D, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. And they also have a bunch of awards, a bunch of accolades. Last time that we were here, they did not have the dine-in open, but now they do. And before you dine in or before you sit down, you do need to order at the front and then you come and find a seat. Thank you. This is my all-time favorite Filipino dish. And, well, technically it's like Thai with something else, but I can smell it. Ooh, it's so steamy. That wow, you can smell the peanut butter. Huge portion. If that gives you guys a hint. Yvonne's like, what is that? It smells good. So we got personal favorite, kare kare. This is a oxtail kare kare. Ooh, look at the huge pieces of meat in there. I see some cabbage, some beans, some eggplant, I believe. Look at how luscious and thick that sauce is. Very strong, savory smell with peanut butter. It does come with two scoops of rice right here. Kare kare is kind of like a peanut butter stew. This has nice oxtail in here as well. I do see some chili these onions. It's kind of like a gravy consistency. It does look like curry. It's just fall apart, tender, coming straight off of that bone. Going for it, cheers. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I love that Filipino food always has a good mix of savory meat and also veggies. The flavor of the kare kare is strong but subtle. I do taste a hint of patis, which is fish sauce. It's fishy, but it's not super pungent and it goes perfectly with the peanut butter sauce. The oxtail is nice and gelatinous, not overly fatty. I feel like they did trim a lot of the fat off, which is good. When a place originates something or came up with the dish, of course you have to get it. Here at Elena's, they are the originators. They even trademarked it, the pork adobo fried rice omelet. Ooh, look at this behemoth of an omelet. It's basically your pork adobo fried rice, but it's wrapped in that nice scramble egg omelet. Enjoy all of its deliciousness. Everything incorporated. Ooh, look. Look at these generous pieces of pork adobo in here. It's like unearthing a treasure trove of flavor. Oh my goodness. Right off the bat, I can already tell the rice looks a lot more moist than the last place. Oh, I'm going into this. Get a little bit of egg, a little bit of pork. Assembling my perfect bite here. Mm. Oh man, the pork itself it has a little sweetness to it and it's a lot more vinegary here. If 
you prefer more of that sour acidic taste in your adobo, this is the way to go. I'm not sure if that makes it more authentic or not, but I personally like it when it's more acidic. Sweet, salty, vinegary, very porky. It's so well balanced that you don't need any other sauces. size of this thing, man. It's huge. Easily shareable with the whole family. I want to try that kare kare though. Mmm. But I think it's missing something. I like to add a little bit of baga on to give it a more shrimpy taste. Trust me when I say it's a umami flavor bomb. Mm. Oh man, this will wake you up. Let's get some of my kare kare sauce. Add a little bit of the baga on. Man, this is fermented shrimp paste, guys. Vietnamese people eat this too, right? Yes. We call it mum rok in Vietnamese. Mm. I felt like this is what was missing. Adds a strong shrimp flavor to the kare kare and the saltiness that the kare kare needs. The kare kare, I feel like it's very peanut buttery, creamy in flavor, but with the saltiness of this, mm. I was very pleasantly surprised by the kare kare. I really like that it felt like a very like warm, cozy meal to eat, you know? It's just, it's so similar. It's basically like a curry. Um, I do like that the flavor is very mild. It's something easy to eat because I think sometimes, right, where people are afraid of curries because they think it's going to be super spicy, right? Too much. But I think this is like just right where taste palette of it is not too complex where I think anybody can enjoy it unless you just don't like peanut butter I, or you're allergic, right? But other than that, I would say it's really easy to eat and I really appreciate that. I like it. That, that's so far my favorite from this place. Now guys, this next spot we're taking you guys, you don't want to miss this one. All right, Foodie Ohana, we did a little detour, did a little damage, a little bit shopping here at the Waikele Premium Outlet, but now we're getting a Filipino snack. Stop by a little lumpia shack called Alessandra's Lumpia. They have three different flavors for their lumpias. They have the veggie or the original lumpia, the Shanghai, and banana turon. We got two of each. Each order comes with six. It smells okay. delicious though. And, um, oh yeah, I forgot. It does come with sauce. It's a sweet chili sauce, it looks like. Woo! It's like a vinegary sweet chili sauce. Okay. All right, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Well, it's not long. Yvonne lucked out with that one. I That's love good. the pork one. Done. Mine is mostly cabbage and carrots. Oh, you have the veggie one. I have the yeah. Shanghai one. Woohoo! Let's try it with a little bit of sauce. Oh, mm. wow. it tastes better with the sauce. Mm -hmm. Hot. <laughs> mm. No, that sauce is a nice balance of sweet, a little bit of heat, vinegary. Mm. Mm. Very addicting. Mm. Mm. Mm, it's so good. Should have got two orders. I know. Yeah. yeah, be prepared to wait, guys. This little kiosk is bumping. Oh my goodness, it's so hot. Just so you Woo! know it's fresh. This doesn't have sauce, but I'm okay with that. Cheers. Mm. <gasps> oh, really hot. Oh, the banana is so hot. <laughs> I like it because it's not super sweet. It's the nice natural sweetness from the banana. And guess what, you guys? I think this will go perfectly with my tea that I got earlier. I got a plantation iced tea from a place called Aloha Tea and Coffee here in Waikele. But I think it'll go perfect. Continuing our Filipino foodie adventure today, we are back on Farrington Highway at the Westgate Center to enjoy yet more Filipino food. We hope you guys are enjoying everything so far. If you are enjoying it, hit that like button. <laughs> and we're here, guys. Our next spot is Thelma's Restaurant, homestyle Filipino cooking. Can I just say, Foodie Ohana, upon walking into Thelma's, you can just tell that it's an authentic Filipino restaurant. We ordered some authentic Filipino foods. Can't wait to show you guys what we got. Wow. Oh, thank you. Okay, All right, thank you so much. Us. Thank you. Here at Thelma's, their model is Filipino food at its best. And I'm super excited because I got one of my also favorite Filipino dishes, which is this. Pinak bed. It's a ton of vegetables. There's even some pork lechon in there, kabocha, eggplant, tomatoes, green beans. This is honestly my most favorite thing to get at any Filipino place. Cheers. Mm. Mm. 
super flavorful. I will say though, some of the pinak pet that I'm used to actually has green pepper and okra in it. We did get a mixed plate, so it has three different choices you could choose. So maybe this is a smaller portion, so I didn't get any okra or green peppers, but I love the flavor. It is a little bit on the more saltier side, probably from all the patis or fish sauce. So it'll go perfect with some rice. Of course, Filipino food always has rice. Tons of veggies. Mm. Never goes wrong with peanut fat. Another must for me. I'm actually surprised we only got it now, but it's pancit. This is their pancit noodles. It's actually the mix. Basically, pancit is like a sauteed fried noodle dish. Canton and bihon noodles, as you can see. I see some cabbage in there, some pork, green onions, some carrots. <gasps> I'm so excited for this. Cheers. Can never go wrong with panse. I just love that the panse noodles, you can either eat it by itself or you can pair it with the other items. I personally like to eat it as my starch. Another one of my favorites is palabok. We didn't get that today, but if you guys ever get that here at Thalma's and it's good, let us know so we can come back and get some palabok. One of the three choices we got, um, I think Amanda forgot to mention, we got a three choice platter. So we got a little bit of everything to try out today. I know we got lechon kawali earlier, but this is one of their in-house special namesake. It's literally called Delma's Special. So you can try somewhere and not get the house special, right? Your usual crispy pork and tomatoes. The sauce looks like a vinaigrette, but a lot darker than the other places. Oh, you see all the sauce on the bottom. Oh, I cannot wait for this bite right here. Mm. Oh man, I see this is why it's Dumbo special. The sauce, very deceiving. It looks really dark and heavy, but it's really light and vinegary. I love the sauce here. It's not so overpowering that you could still taste the pork. The pork is, although drenched in the sauce, still retains its crunch. We could hear the crunch too. Exactly. You, I know you, you Fudi Ohana members heard that, and I just love that it's well balanced. That's what makes it so special. It's not too salty, so you can just keep going. All you need is some white rice or ponce. Mm. If I had to choose between pancit and garlic rice, I just wouldn't be able to choose. I love the garlic rice. I love pancit noodles. Drop a comment down below. What are you guys? Garlic rice or pancit? What's your starch of choice? Now let's try something I've been eyeing. Tocino fried pork of the day. If you guys don't know what Tocino is by now, where have you been? Subscribe so you know more about delicious Ono grinds. Tocino is basically marinated fried Filipino pork. And my weapon of choice, this black DLC coated steak knife. Cut myself a little piece. Oh man, it's so tender. You don't even need the knife, guys. Oh man, look at the nice char in here. Perfect morsel of a thing here. Oh man, this is freaking delicious. Sweet, savory, I love the flavor of the pork. Filipinos, they know how to do their pork. I usually love to eat my tocino with garlic rice and eggs, like a sea log, but none of the places have it this morning. Surprisingly. Yeah, this is the one place that had the pork tocino. Do yourselves a favor. Get the tocino here at Thelma's. Thank me later. Tocino is so juicy. I like crispiness from the burnt edge. But the ratio of meatiness to fattiness, oh man. It's finally time for dinner. Of course, we're gonna do dinner Filipino style here at Tiano's restaurant in Kunia Shopping Center. For dinner, we are here at a very exciting restaurant. This is more of like a sit-down style restaurant. It is called Tiano's Restaurant here in Kunia, and they are known for their Filipino dishes, local dishes, and kind of like an American fusion style restaurant. Here at Tiano's, they welcome you with garlic rolls and there's three of us so there's three here garlic butter all on the top it's kind of just like a dinner roll i believe Ooh. it's a very simple dinner roll but i like that they kind of punched it up with the garlic flavor and here at tiano's i think we're kind of in a garlic mood today you guys will see why later but this is a great way to start off our meal Pork season, be careful, the pan is super hot. Don't forget to stir in your egg. Thank you. Thank you. 
I got the prime rib because I of course I couldn't help myself they actually had a combo plate you could just get the prime rib by itself but I saw that they also offered garlic shrimp now what I appreciate about the shrimp is that it's actually opened butterfly it's very easy for me to eat it of course we also have our garlic mashed potatoes here this is a whole garlic mayhem garlic shrimp garlic mashed potatoes can't go wrong with this and of course we have our asparagus uh, <laughs> prime rib itself i got mine's medium oh my god just look at how big this piece is this is the eight ounce you can also get the 16 ounce as well okay look at how thick this juicy piece is oh my gosh i didn't expect how thick it was going to be very thick very meaty excited for that first bite okay i'm going to dip it cheers guys Mmm, mm -mm 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 -mm. meat is very soft, really juicy, very tender. I asked for medium, it, it feel, does feel a little bit overcooked, but even so, it's not like super chewy, not super hard. Flavor-wise, it is a little bit on the saltier end, but I think the aju helps balance out the saltiness. Really, really delicious. Like, I can't wait to finish this whole meal. Earlier, you said you were going to share. Oh. Um, I really want to try the shrimp itself. Look at that butter, Look at that garlic butter. I'm excited. Mm. That garlic mushed in with the with the shrimp itself. So soft, so delicious. It's almost like garlic heaven. I love it. Really, really good. I'm gonna try it in the mashed potatoes now. I love garlic. You can put a bunch of garlic on it, and I'll eat it. garlic mashed potatoes it's what you would expect mashed potatoes taste like very mushy soft garlic taste i would think i think the shrimp has probably the most garlic out of this today is the perfect starch choice for our meal for today i'm really excited oh of course amanda's sneaking in getting her own okay she should be the taste of it yvonne was so taken by the prime rib she forgot to mention this comes with a salad uh but, we're not she a... said i could have it yeah Amanda, you can have it. This is all yours. <laughs> you. I'll keep this meal, and okay, then you can have it. that meal. Now it's my turn to dig into the sizzling pork sisig. You guys saw it when it came out. It was sizzling in all its glory, popping, crackling, full of porky goodness. This is a little different than your traditional pork sisig. Normally, traditionally, it would be all parts of the pig. This is, I believe, just pure pork. So we did let it sit. So if you look at the bottom underside, it's nicely cooked over that cast iron skillet. The onions are now caramelized. We did mix in the egg, so it's a little cooked as well. I also thought it was a little different that they had the egg in there too. And of course, it comes with white or brown rice, but once again, pro tip for Johanna, what do we say? If there's an upgrade, go for it. So we upgraded to the garlic rice. This is basically your synagogue rice, quickly fried with garlic. I'm very excited. For me, this is all I need. Just give me some pork, give me some rice. Mmm. Oh, wow. Okay. Actually, there's bits of pork ear in here. I can feel the chew of the gelatinous of the, the pork ears. So tender, nicely seasoned. Some sourness from the calamansi that I squeezed on earlier. The egg yolk adds a nice welcome creaminess to the dish. Wow, that was surprising. Sweetness from the caramelized onions, peppers. I feel like garlic rice is like the perfect Filipino food blanket, like a blank canvas to coat with your meal. Garlicky rice with pork sisig. Must try here. Definitely order this combo. There is a dessert. Oh, oh yeah. guys, dessert is going to be quite the treat. Stick around. They are also known for their desserts here at Tiano's. And we want to give a shout out to our server, Tehani, and her significant other, Jacob, who watches us. Thank you guys so much. This wondrous plate of turon, or banana limpia, and a scoop of, a heaping scoop, by the way, of ube ice cream. All right, guys. Ooh. I got our banana bread pudding. Ooh. And I have our halo halo. So pretty! Thank you! Enjoy! Look at all of these Filipino desserts. I am in heaven, you guys. Wow. It has a drizzle, I think of caramel, possibly. Mm. 
definitely cinnamon. Very crunchy. And then the banana is warm. Let's get a bit of the ice cream now on top. Mm. It's like a tropical bite because you get some coconutty flavor from the ube ice cream. Oh, that ube ice cream is so refreshing. Mixed in with the warm banana from the lumpia. Oh. This here is a banana bread pudding. There's two nice little squares here along with, I believe, some vanilla ice cream. This also is dusted with cinnamon, caramel sauce, and there's also this thick sauce here. Maybe some evaporated milk or a condensed milk type of sauce. I will say I like the flavor more than I like the consistency. It's a bit on the harder side. Like I wish it was a little more custardy, but the flavor is on point for sure. Guys, it is hollow hollow time. I feel like we're on vacation because it's a little cute umbrella on top. <laughs> Filipino desserts are one of my favorite kinds of desserts, especially, especially halo halo. You guys taught us the right ways actually to mix everything. I see nata de coco here. I think maybe that's cantaloupe. That's a new one. The red jello thing. I think this is the young coconut here. The sweet potato and dollop of ube ice cream with condensed milk all over. Cheers. is really refreshing. The milk or the condensed milk added like an extra sweetness there. And it's very interesting with the cantaloupe. So favorite out of the three? I actually like the banana lumpia Me with too. the ice cream. Warm, cold, you mix it together. And it's like a nice piece of heaven. Just because it's so easy to eat, plus you get the mm. ube ice cream. Fan favorite, I think, is this one. As you can see, Furiohana, it is indeed nighttime. I'm glad we could fit in dinner on this Filipino foodie adventure. Hope you guys had an amazing time because we definitely did. Foodie Ohana, thank you guys so much for sticking around with us for a full day of eating Filipino Ono Grinds. Let us know what your favorite Filipino dish is. If you guys have not tried Filipino food, let us know what looked good today. And we hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Come and join our foodie Ohana and we will see you guys on our next foodie adventure. All right, until the next foodie adventure, explore your inner foodie. Peace out. Good night. Bye guys. All right, foodie Ohana. No Filipino food marathon. All right, foodie Ohana. There is no way. Diners, drive-ins, and dine. Okay. Oh, the sauce is strong. Okay. Ooh. Is the beloved. I thought you were gonna go. You, you, you're supposed to jump in and already? grab it. Already? Okay, okay, I thought you were gonna say more, a little bit more. No. Okay. So like, you're, I wanted you're to cute. be more natural. Oh, I gotta. Okay. I know, I'm here at Thelma's, they have Hawaiian. What? Right, right, white rice. I didn't know. Oh, 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 I think you're oh. just stabbing it, bro. Let, let, let's get this out of the way. This is really hard to eat. <laughs> I don't think you can mix this up. See, I told you. Do not put it straight into there, please. No, 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 no. You can put a bunch of garlic on it and I'll eat it. So, oh. <laughs> Add a little bit of the... <laughs> I need a fork. It would just be a never ending. It would just be a never ending question of um, what? what? What what do you call it when you can't make a decision or choice? This next spot. What? If you are enjoying it, what? Oh my god! You can have all this. This is your wait. <laughs> this needs to be moved <laughs> to here. Oh, wow. So of course we're gonna do dinner a Philip. So of course we're gonna do. Phil mm -hmm. well, inhaling pork smoke. <laughs> you gotta turn this way more. There you go. It's that suspicious white man. Yes. That guy just walked around there. Okay, okay and cut. If you haven't already, hit subscribe button. Blah, blah, blah. If you have. <laughs> ready? Good. Okay. Come on.
come and join our Foodie Ohana by clicking subscribe button. By click. First time, bro. 